hello guys good morning and welcome back to my youtube channel if it's your first time to be in this youtube channel of course this is Lynette Nzai and if you have been a returning subscriber what I can say is that receive hugs I love you and thank you for the support today I'm here with a story time video I'm going to tell you guys how I found out that I was a side chick how did it all started how did I react how did it even affect me yes you know it's a it's not a very good story of being a side chick of course nobody chooses chooses to be a side chick as you can see me i think as for me i don't think if i deserve to be that side chick because in that relationship actually i had given this man all the things that he wanted i gave him everything you know i did everything that a girl was supposed to do for his boyfriend i don't know why it all ended like i being a side chick do you want to know just sit down grab your popcorns and i'm here to tell you how it started until how it went down so um, i think I met this guy. I met this guy when in Amatatu we were traveling from Nairobi. I was coming from Choka Nilkwan in Dacha. Oh, so I was seated Nilkwani me Nilkwan Naka Kunyekiti Hapa. Halafu kijana pia she he he was seated next to me. Yeah? So Nvile Nilingia kwa yo gari actually nilingia ni kampata kamika. So he was this guy for real. Let me just talk ukweli. This guy was cute, you know. He was this bearded guy. And then he was tall, dark, handsomeness, don't even ask me. This guy was cute, like he was pretty. And Salama uh, Ninani, I was like, guy, you, as in this kijana, akuja tuwa nyombe namba, ata atukua ifika wapi, because I think this guy was also interested in me, you know. So even atuko fika anywhere, this girl came, this boy came, aka nyomba namba. I gave up the number, of course, because I was, I saw ni, I thought he was pretty and... Uh, I had loved him from the first sight like I just met him and I felt like you know I was like in a movie you understand but okay let's continue the story so after that day we didn't even talk like a week I took one guess I was wondering why is this guy even not talking to me okay after two weeks this guy texted me Alini text texted me so Vila Alini text I was uh, me and Nini Lukwani Miss House that I had met him so he was like I'm this guy we met for Gary you know and I was like oh it's okay so after like one week of knowing each other we decided to meet we met in a hotel for the first time and we didn't even spend days there we spent only a day so we lived for I went back to my place. So Ikafika uh, okay the after after we had already met for the first time, he told me that uh, we supposed to meet, we're supposed to meet Kwake. And uh, I didn't even uh, of course I didn't because I was into him and at this time we were already in love, you know. So I um, I went kwake of course for the first time he sent me fair siku kula because I was into him nilikuwa ni mempenda so I didn't eat his, his fair by the way I eat fair I eat fair a lot <laughs> okay I'm joking I love jokes but I eat fair <laughs> but yeah we siku kula so I went to Nairobi to his place to meet him so I think I spent like a week you know but before that he had given prescription uh, restrictions yeah restrictions to me okay let me give you this restriction so that it if it may happen to you you just know that you are the side chick first of all i was not supposed to call this boyfriend of mine i was not supposed to call so he was the one calling me uh, he was not calling me oh by the way i have one earring I think one has fallen down. Ah, let's continue. Okay, so nilkwa nilkwa um, as in siku wai na siku wai siku wai kumpigia kwa sababu alikuwa ameniambia sifai kumpigia. Jambo la pili siku wai siku fa kumtumia message SMS that is. Kwa sababu siku wai kumtumia SMS nilikuwa tu tuongea online kwa sababu ajua ningemtumia SMS na ni mtu ambaye alikuwa yuani cheat. Sasa kumtumia SMS yani ingekuwa rahisi kwa sababu ni kama alikuwa na girlfriend mwingine au alikuwa na mpenzi mwingine so kumtumia SMS naona ingekuwa rahisi ye kwa kule nje so akanambia nisitumie sms and then uh, pia like sifai like siyezi enda kwake kama sija muambia ni ye aniambie aniambie adi time na ni siyezi enda kwake kama sija muambia you know so e relationship it had a lot of restrictions you know so alafu alikuwa pia anapenda kuzima simu you know he was this guy mwenye angezi masimu and then after some time and simpati and then after some time he's online na mwona ame post like he he's on road trip with hata uh, unyesha with who but he's some good places so i'm like hey babe see you are asha huku 
kuwa as in ulikuwa mteja ako so you want me i don't any uh, too much explanations but because i was into this guy i had lo i had loved him i had no option rather than kuvumilia and all that so in this relationship even though I had a lot of problems, you know. I felt like sis kids with to come aizo, but sir, uh, because this guy alkwana nfanya kila kitu, he used to spoil me. He used to spoil me very much. A lot of cash, a lot of surprises. He was full of love, you know. Any those things that a girl could need. Eh. Any alkwapia, any he was so nice. So if these things, if these restrictions happens to you, a relation I think a relationship is supposed to be free, like free. Like you talk about all things and all those things, you know. But for me, this relationship had I think it had a lot of problems. So we this one week. As a twelve o'clock, he's like, Don't worry, it's me and you any time. I don't want to be disturbed by people from job. So I was like okay but sunny what could they what could they have what, uh, what could i even have done you know i was just there so after that one week i went back to my place so uh, after nimerudi back to my place i said i, I told the eyes in i told him i wanted to visit him again so i can't i can't visit him i can't visit him He told me that she was busy. So I was wondering like, huh? A whole month we've never met and I'm busy in a job, but Bado is in the road trips, Bado is into good places, you know. I was like, guy, what is this? <laughs> but I decided to keep quiet. A whole month, Peter, two months. We've never met with this guy to know you're too online. He doesn't even call me. You know, <laughs> But anyway, Sasa Ikafika this time that it was his birthday. So I decided to surprise him because he was he was loving to me. I can't lie to you because at Kamani only we used to chat like all through, you know, even though it was only but all through we used to communicate, you know, and then cash sending me money, spoiling me, all those things, you know. So I decided in the quake I just go and surprise him, you know. So I remember that time I didn't have even money. I borrowed a loan from I borrowed a loan from Tyler, that is I borrowed five K you know so we will 5k i used 4k to buy him a wristwatch because he was this guy he wanted he alkwana friend akubasa so i decided ni come him surprise you know so i didn't even call him i called i call a friend hey are you uh, i hey is kevo is kevo inside the house and then he tells me kevo is inside the house but he didn't tell me that kevo is having another girlfriend you know <laughs> so guys I prepare myself in the morning. In fact, I didn't have fair. I borrowed the fair. Nabado ni kaumbatala to buy to surprise him. You know, a four K watch. Hey, hey. Me, I love this guy. I could. I if I had money, I could have even bought him. I don't know. I could have even bought him a house, a car, everything because I was into him so much. You know, I didn't know that I'm, I'll be hurt at the end. So, guys, I went to surprise him. Do you know what I got? It was so sad, you guys. I remember it was early in the morning, so I went. This guy was called Kevo. So I Kevo. I Kevo. So I went until that place. Skum pegia. I didn't kafika. I called him. So I went to pegia. I can come Hey Kevo, I'm outside here. I can't do any jobs, you know. So I went to him. I was going to do any jobs. I was going to do any jobs. I was going to do any jobs. So I went to him. Kevo was like. Who has told you to come here? Where any nanny? You know those things. So I was like, guy, Kevo, you don't know me. Akanambia, I don't know you. So vile tulikuwa tuna argue, majirani wakakuja. So vile majirani wakakuja, adio, mi sikuja saa ni demu wake. Adio demu saa pia ni kama wakakuja hapo nje. So wale majirani, kuna wale majirani saa mi nasema, oh ni chali yangu, ni mekuja, ni mekuja kum surprise, si juni nani, lakini atake kunisikiza, yonambia chia nijui, wao na so mimi nikakuwa nalia pale nje majira na kanambia wewe msichana lakini una adabu msichana ako na kijana ako na msichana mwingine huko ndani kisha msichana si hivyo tu msichana ako na nini ako na dem huko ako na mi ako na mtoto i mean msichana ako na mtoto so i was like guy kevo yani ujeni niambia hiki kitu yote lakini kumbe kuna msichana uko na mtoto kevo was like i even don't know you sasa ameyasema anijui bali ya watu wanijui kumbuka mimi sana una saa 1400 yani nakwambia niko tu pale fair hadi nilikuwa nimeongezea juu nilikuwa nimekopa sasa nakwambia 
niko pale alafu eh yani i was so much stranded mbele ya watu a hold me so i was like guy yani every time i feel every time i remember about this story i just feel so stupid i just feel so betrayed you know so vile nilikuwa tu hapo nje was stranded kevo is like i don't know kevo he was ready to beat me i remember he was ready to beat me cuz vile nilikuwa naongea akanishika hapa like oh stop talking you know and then i was like you are killing me please stop it and then the watu akakuja they came they rescued me it was so bitter i didn't expect it to happen like why i had any in this life kitu nimekuja ku realize you can't keep a man who doesn't want to be kept you know you'll do everything but if he doesn't want you he won't even yani he won't care about you that is how i found that i was a side chick i was a side chick i did everything to this man i nilikuwa nampa kila kitu lakini bado mimi nikakuwa bado ni side chick ako na demu mwingine bado ako na mtoto you know so nikajiona mimi yani ah yani i felt love is a scam love is a scam and it's not that i'm bitter i'm not bitter cuz sahi i just over I overcame I overcame it ah I overcame yes I overcame it and right now I'm just good I'm just giving out advices to my fellow girls out there do not invest so much in a man my friend i have experience zile 1400 mimi ningeenda nikafanya nini maybe nikaanzisha biashara biashara tu yote sisi ningekuwa mbele look at me right now i don't have a boyfriend i was played yani i was a side chick It's so hurting so girls just put in mind hata kama you have a boyfriend uh, just don't invest too much in on him in him sijakata kama wampenda na waona kuna future go on but mimi is just a warning out of my story out of this thing yani it was so sad i didn't see myself in this thing so guys just it's a, it's just a warning so you just watch out you just watch out usimpende na roho yako yote maana vile alin vile mimi nilipata ni side chick i was so much sick i was so much broken i got ulcers you know kevo i know you're watching this you gave me ulcers he huh? I know you're watching this because you hey, you gave me ulcers you know and i don't want you back <laughs> yes i don't want you back cuz you did me so bad i'm laughing because i'm a strong woman and i overcame this So to other girls out there maybe you facing uh, maybe you've been left umeachwa umekataliwa you've been betrayed just uh, don't worry move on move on life is too short life is too short just move on have a life live a life hey ah you guys okay this is my story this was my story just comment down below have you ever been betrayed have you ever been left have you ever been a side chick You know some people are fearing to say this. Kwani kwa side chick nini? Oh, mimi she kwa side chick na si mara moja. Hey. Okay guys, make sure you subscribe to my con my YouTube channel for more videos. Actually I'll be doing story time. You know my life is has a lot of yani it has a lot of miseries and good things so I'll just I think I'll do stories. I'll be doing stories maybe every week. So guys, just subscribe for more content. Bye bye. I love